what separates this championship from the others you've won with this franchise? Uh, I'll answer that in a second, but first I want to say congrats to uh, the Celtics um, on a on a great series. Uh, they were I incredible. Um, their their defensive athleticism and length and toughness uh, was uh, really tough to overcome. And um, you know they they had us on the ropes in this series and had a tremendous season. Um, you know we've. Since I've been here, we've lost in the finals twice, and um, it's it's devastating, you know, to get this far and to to come up short. And um, I got a lot of friends across that hall, you know, uh, between Ime and and Will Hardy, um, Damon Stoudemire, Aaron Miles, you know, a uh, bunch of really good friends and guys I've coached in in FIBA: Jason Tatum, Jalen Brown, Derek White. Um, great, great group of of guys and um, so I, I uh, genuinely feel for them because I know what it's like to uh, to lose at this point but they had an amazing run and uh, it's a great great series um, <clears throat> I forget your question now CJ <laughs> well they're all unique they're all special um, <clears throat> I think this one may have been the most unlikely just from the standpoint of where we've been the last couple of years, a lot of unknowns with injuries to Clay, and, um, you know, Draymond at the end of the year, Steph at the end of the year, um, a lot of young guys, kind of a new core, uh, or, or a new group around our core, I should say. Um, but um, it's really special to see guys like Wiggs and, and Loon and Gary Payton, um, just how far they've come. Um, the impact they made, Jordan Poole, same thing. And I, I know I'm going to forget people, but it takes uh, a full team effort to do this. And we just had a, a, a great group who, uh, who got it done. We'll go next to Dan on the right. Hey, Steve, Dan Winky, Los Angeles Times, congratulations. Um, you've been around greatness a ton in your career. Um, what do you make of Steph? And does he still kind of put you into awe the way maybe he did the, the first year you were with him? He does, um, because what he does at his size is so different from, you know, the traditional greats in this league. Um, I've said it many times, uh, Steph reminds me so much of Tim Duncan. Um, obviously, totally different players, but from a uh, just a, a humanity standpoint, from a talent standpoint, um, Humility, uh, confidence, it's this wonderful combination that just you know, uh, makes everybody w want to win f for him. And um, I'm obviously thrilled for everyone in, in that room. Um, and a lot, of, a lot of people had a big hand in this. But I think the thing with, with Steph is, um, you know, w without him, None of this happens, you know, and that's not taking anything away from um, Joe and Peter's ownership because they're amazing owners, uh, built an incredible organization. Bob Myers, a uh, hell of a GM, and, you know, uh, our players. We've had so many great players, but Steph ultimately is, you know, why this run has, has happened, um, much like Timmy in San Antonio. And so... I'm happy for everybody, but I'm thrilled for Steph. To me, this is his crowning achievement in what, what's already been an incredible career. Howard on the left. Howard Beckham, Sports <laughs> Illustrated. Congrats, Steve. Uh, on the broadcast, Jeff Van Gundy said this, and I think he meant this as a compliment, but this was the least talented group that you guys have won a championship with. And again, I think he meant that as partially a compliment to you and your staff. Um, it was different for that reason. How do you think you guys managed to, to, to reach this height again with, if you agree with that premise, a less talented group. And as you said, against obviously a very tough defense in, in, in Boston, kind of what's shown through with all that? Well, I think uh, that comment um, is all relative, right? I mean, we had Kevin Durant for three years with this core group. Those teams were, <clears throat> were untouchable. Um, you know, this this team has been compared to our first championship team in, in 15. 
maybe there are some similarities, but um, this is still a really talented group of players. So, um, you know, not taking anything away from Jeff's comment, but it, I think it's, it's it, he's speaking relatively. Um, our defense was spectacular in this series, um, especially the last three games. Um, and <clears throat> the Celtics had the best defense in the league, but we were right behind them. And um, I think what <clears throat> made this group really special was, uh, besides the obvious with, uh, with Steph, uh, was the defensive intensity and versatility. And for that, um, you know, Draymond is the guy to, to point to, the leader of it all. But the additions of Wiggs, um, Gary Payton, the return of Clay, uh, the emergence of Loon, uh, it, it all factored in. And uh, I've been really lucky to be part of a lot of these in my career. Uh, and I, I, I have yet to see a team that wasn't elite defensively uh, win a championship. Uh, so. <laughs>